I'm from Shadow, Nebraska, which is located in the very northwest corner of the panhandle of Nebraska. About an hour, 15 minutes south of Mount Rushmore, close to Wyoming, Colorado border. The closest metropolitan area to Shadow, Nebraska is about five hours away, and it's Denver, Colorado. It's kind of a little jewel. Very few people, even in our own state, know about Shadron. Our part of the state is known for the Pine Ridge area. Lots of pine trees, open space, lots of wildlife. It's probably the most beautiful part of Nebraska, and I hate to say that because I don't want too many people wanting to move here. The population of Shadron is right around 5,000. It was pretty unusual for Elliot to be discovered being from Shadron, Nebraska. I graduated high school with about 69 people, so very small high school. I coached Elliot Eliason for four years here at Shadron High School. He was the cornerstone of our program. Elliot's first offer it was in the sophomore year. And the first guy to offer Elliot was Coach Miles at Colorado State. It's kind of a big deal here in Shadron. Because now we got coaches coming to watch Elliot play in the gym. We play at the bird cage. 800 people, that's about all you can get in the gym. One game in particular, the game started about 7.30 and I know they closed the doors at about five o'clock. People were standing everywhere on top of each other. Probably one of the funnest places I've ever played, and that's even to this day. We're very successful, always winning the district, going on to state, competing really well down there. Then at 6'11", senior number 55, Elliot Eliason. So many people drive all the way down seven hours to Lincoln to support us, and they actually changed our spring break to coincide with the state championship because they knew no one would be there if we didn't do that. So it was really awesome to see the support that everyone gave. Minnesota in black uniforms. Very rare. First time they've worn these uniforms. Elliot always told me that he wanted to play in the best league there was. And he always felt that the Big Ten was the best league. So I think that's why he picked Minnesota. Eliason! When you go to Shadron, you're gonna see this a little pocket of uh, Minnesota Gopher fans, which is pretty odd in the state. It's pretty Cornhusker red. A lot of times people gather at Wilds downtown. It's pretty surreal sometimes to go in and see your son and watching him on a TV. A lot of people in Chattern are great Gopher fans. Very, very supportive of, of Elliot. Minnesota has a timeout if they want. It's Matthew. Kick trying to get it to King, who's knocked away from deep. Mason off, and Ohio State wins. We're going through a little bit of a tough stretch, but you know I believe in this team so much, and I believe in the guys that I go to you know, war with every day. I believe in Coach Patino. And I know we're going to keep working, and I know we're going to keep fighting and clawing, and we're not going to give up until you know, it's all said and done. I know my role has kind of diminished a little bit, but when I have situations where I can help the team and go in, I'll make a defensive stop, grab a big rebound, that's what I have to do. They razz him pretty good down there in Nebraska, so I think he really would like to get a win. Hey. We're the gated team. We're the team that's the first on the floor. We're the team that's on the glass. We're the team back in transition so there's nothing easy all night. I want you all over the floor all night. Any questions? Let's go. Let's go. The Golden Gophers at Nebraska. A full house, a sellout, 15,000 plus here. This is a key game in the season for both squads. Benny Parker out front, right side to Shields, back to Petaway. He'll launch it three right side and hit it. Webster's pass down low to Leslie Smith. His layup is good. Eliason is in. He's getting boo in his home state. Left the state to play at Minnesota. Yes, a 
the window, count the bucket and the foul. Elliot Eliason. Low scoring game here. Gophers in danger here, falling to one and six in the league. 24.9 seconds to go. Minnesota's down three. And Minnesota, one way, shape, or form, is going to have to figure out a way to get the ball through the basket. 20 seconds. Here comes Matthew to Hollins. Here's a three for the tie. No, back iron. 12 to play. Now Morris, ball fake. Out front three, partially blocked. Five seconds to go. Now to King. Corner for Matthew. With two, a three. In and out. And that's the ball game. The Gophers had three threes to tie it on the last possession. And none win. All right, boys, you tell me who gets the championship belt here. T.J. John put the, to put the locks on. Ty Webster? On Holly. Ty Webster! Yeah.